Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some popper slivers. We're playing Gruel today, and uh, yeah, it looks like uh, we've got not a great hand. Let's mulligan. Okay, well we can keep this. We'll uh, just drop one of those forest. Easy enough. Let's get rid of the, one of those. Alright, let's do this thing. So, I already actually had a video for today, it was already pre-uploaded on YouTube and everything uh, that I recorded like last Sunday, and I just wasn't happy with how it was uh, turning, how it turned out. We were up against a uh, Simic mill deck, and it was just such a boring video. He was milling me for like one card every turn and then doing fog effects. And I just wasn't being able to draw into something to just get damage through. So it was just this long, uh, tedious game of him just milling me for like one single card every turn. And just, uh, you know, uh, fogging away my 20 creatures on the board. Uh, at the end of the day, I was just like, I, I was happy. I was fine with it at first. And then I was like, yeah, we can get a, a more exciting video. Like, this is pretty lame. We already had one long, drawn out video this week with Tron. So. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna redo this, so I'm recording the day before the video, and I'm just gonna swap them <laughs> with hopefully a, a better result here, so we'll see how it goes. But we got a nice Augur Bolus. So let's see if we're uh, gonna be fast enough for this deck. Just need to get out, uh, probably go two-headed sliver just start getting everything with menace uh, that way he can't block with the auger of bolus until he drops another creature or something like that so let's see what he does here taking a while figuring out what he wants from this auger forbid him forbid him forbidden alchemy all right it's just a draw, right? All right, look at the top four. Okay. Uh -uh -uh. Let's just stay red. Pretend like uh, we're fixed on red for now. All right. We'll pass it back. There's the Forbidden Alchemy. Which, that's go. Oh, Gurmog goes in the graveyard. Alright. So we got another turn where we can actually uh, put down our Lord without it getting countered. Yeah, you can hit me for one, that's fine. Alright. Swinging. Oop. Swinging for two. There we go. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I took away my menace. Okay. So do you have answers for my predatory then? Okay, well I guess we'll just go ahead and put down both of these guys. And we'll pass a turn. He'll just block. And we won't even kill the auger yet, so we'll wait to use our provoke triggers on that auger. Fortunately, we're a little bit vulnerable. Got no protection. Sure, that's easy. Let's get rid of one of my hunters. Ooh. 
Lightning bolt. Hmm. I feel like I might want to hang on to that. I could lightning bolt the auger, get in for four here. Uh, nah. We're gonna say no. But, uh, I think it's worth holding on to for, uh, you know, helping us get rid of a Gurmog or one of the Delvers, if he's using it. Our opponent is playing very slow, though. Okay, just taking it. Can't do anything about that. Puts in a counter spell. All right. Chainer's Edict again. Well, we'll get rid of the Provoke. We'll keep our Lord. We need to make sure we put another creature down, because they can just keep popping these Chainer's Edicts now on us. So we need to draw into another creature just for having that. Alright, so we get another one of these. Swing for two. Uh, we'll say no. Goes to 13. Come on, Jerna. Taking a while. Taking long. There's the Gurmog. So I think we'll provoke the Gurmog to block the Hunter, and then we'll Lightning Bolt it, potentially. Unless we draw into something else, like a Vines. Ah, uh, draw three cards. Oh. So we got to discard two cards? Oof. Let's see if he targets us then. I'm assuming he will. Uh, can I do this now though? Oh, did I miss my chance? Frick. Missed my chance to play it. I thought I'd have one more chance on the stack to play the lightning strike before uh, it triggered me to discard two cards. Well, shoot. That's unfortunate. I thought there'd be one more trigger where uh, it would be target player discards two cards and then I would just lightning bolt at that, but I guess not. That sucks. So now we definitely need a pump or uh, we need vines or another lightning, lightning strike. Just gonna pass. Well, there's our lightning bolt. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and swing in. Uh, I guess we'll do that, that. Doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, right. Hunter. Here. Predatory. Uh, I don't want to. I guess I'll just do that, whatever. Ah, yes, okay, so no, and we'll say okay, and then we'll say that, go there, go to damage, hit this for the last three, 
Unfortunately, we're probably going to lose our Predatory here from the Chainer's Edict. So, it's still going to be hard for us to come back. Oh, they're just passing. How strange. Go to 10. Don't know if they're forgetting about the Chainer's Edict, but... Could definitely pop another one of those off. Sure. It'll happen. Oh, we get a muscle. Might get counterspelled. We gotta go for it, though, at this point. They've got two cards left in hand. So... We'll pass. They'll swing. We'll go two-headed, see if it gets in. Super control from this point on. They've got the edge. There's a counter spell. Down to one card. Preordain. All right. Another auger. Not what we want to see. They just got disfigure. Not what we want to see. Ugh. It's rough. I'm not even going to play it yet. Uh, I think we're just pretty much dead to rights unless we can... I mean, we can hold on for a few turns to try to put out multiple creatures, but we're just letting them card draw, which sucks. And now we got discard, so... That's unfortunate. Uh, I think we're about to just go to game two here. Three cards in hand, one of them was Disfigure. They still got a Chainer's Edict, two Chainer's Edicts. We'll go to 12. Oh, man. Provoke. If this gets countered, we'll just go to game two. Let's go to game two. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. All right, let's get some vines. Let's get some relics. Oh boy, chain. Mutagenic might not be bad. Hunter, not as important, honestly. Ah, what else can we get rid of here? Electricery, not that important here. Striking, maybe we can drop one. Uh, another hunter. Do we just cut hunters altogether? I guess I wouldn't mind, but maybe we'll keep one and we'll just drop one of those. Uh, sure. Let's try that. Yes. All right, well, we are going to keep this. I think we'll go, uh... We are going to go Tranquil Thicket. We're just going to play it out tapped. Uh, and then play our Vivalent and Relic next turn. I think that's how I want to do it here. So, yeah, let's just play it out. I could just pop relic right now but then i gotta wait another turn for viverland so we might as well just be able to play both of them next turn
Hmm. You gonna pass? Hmm, uh oh, that's troubling. Well, let's go Viverlent first. Maybe they don't have anything. They don't. Okay, good. If we can get one of these lords down, I'll be in pretty happy shape here. Alright, Augur. Stupid probe again. Alright, teetering. Select the Viverlance. Should hit him for a good amount this turn. They can take four or feel free to block. Get that auger out of my way. Alright. They want to take it. Oh, sacrifice a creature. Sure. Preordain, sure. Nice thing is we can still attack in next turn by dropping this other muscle. You can shoot off one of these chain lightnings. Another relic. Uh, we need to start clearing out this graveyard a little bit too, though. Yup, and I'm actually going to just play this other relic. We're going to double team this, get this Chainer's Edict out of here. And Muscle Sliver. We'll wait on our Lightning Bolts. We'll just swing in. Okay, that feels pretty good. And I still had a Chainer's Edict. That is unfortunate. Darn. Okay. I want to push damage, so maybe we gotta take out the Sogger so I can push in, but we'll see what we get here on the draw. Hmm. Well, let's do this. Get rid of that Chainer's Edict. Put down a Viverlint. Huh. Do we get this guy out of the way? Sure. Let's go for it. Tapping in for some poisonous and another two damage. Mm. Okay. Keep that graveyard clean now. Still not to lightning bolt until they tap out. I don't want to run into a counter spell. I want to make sure that damage goes through. And pass. All right. They're uh, starting to get close to dropping a Gurmog just full cost, but... Okay, sure. If they start really dumping a lot into the graveyard here, we might have to just crack a relic. 
They just dump four. Hmm. Shoot. Should have put a stop at their upkeep. They'll probably be able to cast a Gurmog. And there's nothing I can do about it. Shoot. Little mistakes this time. Little mistakes. Augur. Okay, so now I'm going to crack because I have the opportunity. I don't want them getting any further down. Now you may have that auger. Counterspell revealed. Okay. Preordain. to me with that counter spell up oh what fun we're gonna pass no good attacks I don't really want a two for one this auger they may let it resolve if it's going towards the auger, but that's a tough call. I could start just lightning bolting their face just to bring out some counter spells, though. All right, now we've got to go ahead and just do this. Lightning bolt your face. You want to counter one. See if they let that resolve. If they do counterspell it. Okay, that's fine. Then we are gonna go here and get rid of this auger polis. And let everything else resolve. We had to use them up. Not gonna make the same mistake I did for game one. And we will probably crack Relic before the end of their turn. Or even now, get another card draw while they're tapped out. Yeah, I think I might do that. Eugenic, okay. We'll try to save them. If they want to counterspell this, then we get a counterspell out of their hand, you know? Sure. And then what? You got Chainer's Edict to get rid of my muscle? Please don't. Auger. Okay. Augers for days. Preordain. And there it is, all right. Another mutagenic growth.
Just get that auger off the field. Oh my gosh. Every single auger. We've drawn every single one. That's just unfortunate. We're not in a great spot. Probing. Okay, well, awesome. Uh, they've just got so many answers. It's a hard matchup. We're not as fast as Green White. Green White is just a little bit faster. Almost. It's hard to say. I mean, it's we're playing red right now, so you think we'd be pretty fast. We can be fast. If we've got the right cards, we can be really fast, but... We've just got more lords in the other deck that we can put down. We can make our team bigger a lot faster. Get out of range of half this stuff. Most we're going to have now is just, look at that, you know, just a 1-1. One, one. 1-1 one, one with haste. Probably going to get countered. And we're kind of in the same position as last game, where they've got three cards, and we've got no more creatures on the field. They're just going to, well, at least they got a good flyer to start beating us down a little bit. I think we played the game pretty well. I don't know if there's anything else we could have done differently necessarily. I mean, maybe a couple things, but they still had a lot of answers. A lot of answers. Striking with four mana up. Let's just pass. <laughs> Germog. All right. Now we're dead. Oh, he actually let it through. Look at that. <laughs> All right. I've seen enough. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a tough match. And they've got a lot of different ways to win. I mean, look at, look at how long we held them off with our relics clearing their graveyard like every two seconds for turn after turn after turn and then slowly but surely they just whittle us away still get that Gurmog out it is what it is hopefully you guys enjoyed though leave a like on the video if you did and want to see more gruel slivers and we'll be back again next week don't forget to check out the video tomorrow we got coming up an mtg arena video finally we got some cool standard play I uh, got a pretty fun deck that we're playing with so make sure to check that out and we will see you guys in the next video.